Atlantic. The next poem I'm reading is a love poem, or at least an erotic poem. And there's tremendous pleasure in writing erotic poems, and I've written quite a number of them. This one is about the beginning of a relationship, just at that wonderful moment when you're on the cliff edge, so to speak, when you realize the other person feels for you what you have just begun to feel for them. Atlantic. You wanted me to watch a dazzled mirror, the low scooped back, the sinuous purple of your bathing suit with its oval window, framing the straw blonde of skin that shifted like silk over lean muscle as you strode long-limbed towards open sea. Certain my gaze followed. Each high arch step, your calves like willow, twin saplings bearing you anointed, queen-like across a wind-frosted beach. I turned my head and walked away to the far end where a confusion of dogs and children played in high-pitched voices that could seem innocent. In the shallows, kitty wakes paddled a soft shoe shuffle. Herring gulls flew low, as is their wont, beneath a ribboned azure cloud and shrieked a harsh storm warning. When you came back in, your flesh was bruised a livid crimson. The salt of the Atlantic glittered on your thighs. You reclaim the land as one who makes her own each inch of earth she walks on. You stood on the old harbour pier, your fine-cut heels on cold stone, serene and regal. You asked me to hold your towel, to screen you while you dressed. Was that the start of it, your look, the chill, flushed cheek. In my hands, the dense, white, soft cloth warmed. Seawater, like beads of amber, falling from tendrils of your hair.